Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Diana and today we're going to be talking about silicone tape and see if it really works. If you like videos with topics for skincare over 40 and makeup tutorials and devices and all that good stuff, please subscribe to my channel and let's get to today's video. I was watching a video by another YouTuber and they were talking about how you can use soft silicone tape as patches for wrinkles, to prevent wrinkles. You would sleep with them overnight and voila, it would be an easy and inexpensive dupe possibly for those majorly expensive <laughs> patches that you see on the market today for your forehead, eyes, the smile lines and all that good stuff. And chest too. So I went on Amazon and I found the tape that the YouTuber was talking about and it's this one right here. Hopefully you can see it. It's the JJ Care Advanced Silicone Tape. It's medical silicone tape for scar treatment. Uh, if you have keloids, it's latex free and it's good for medical uses. So I have also tried the scotch tape version of patches and I don't like it at all. It's not a good feel on your skin. It pulls your skin. Not only that, but it leaves major marks on your skin and that's not cool. So I thought this might work because it's not so aggressively fastened to your skin and it's easy to peel off and you can also reuse it by rewetting it and letting it air dry. So I thought that might be a good savings. So what I'm going to do is show you how I put them on at night and come back in the morning and let you know how it went. I'm going to show you right now what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's a roll and it's got a nude color. It's a light color and you can just peel it off like that. I've used this once before and what I did for my forehead was I cut a big piece off this wide and I don't think that was a good idea and it definitely wasn't a good idea because your forehead has different curves to it and it was bunching up in certain places and it went into my existing forehead line so badly that it created worse wrinkles. I was so mad. It actually took a couple of hours for the deepened wrinkles to go away completely. So I think what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to cut them in little strips instead and see how that works out. I've read about how silicone is great for the skin. Like you see the brand names like CO and stuff like that, but I've heard how good it can be because it retains moisture between the silicone tape and your face and moisture, especially for more mature and drier skin like mine is really a good thing. So I'm gonna give it another chance and do it in a strip form and see if that makes a difference. All right, welcome to my bathroom and this sickly color that my video <laughs> is giving me right now. As I told you, I'm going to cut these in strips. I'm just going to do one because I already did a couple of other strips, but I'm doing this one to show you how I cut it. And uh, next I'm going to attempt to put it on my forehead. Peeling it is not the easiest it's really thin the silicone tape is really thin and sometimes when you peel it off it can get stuck in a folded position and then you have to cut another one and it's just not the easiest to work with so right here I am kind of stretching out the wrinkle so that I don't accentuate it and trying to place the tape on as gingerly as I can to not create any other dents or lines. That one seemed to go on pretty well. I'm gonna speed past this part because I did the rest of my forehead. And the only thing about using like different pieces like this is that you will see a couple of lines on your forehead the next morning where the tape ends and begins, which is not optimal. And the one on the bottom kind of bunched up. I'm going to start on my eyes now, um, just a little piece and stretch out that wrinkle and tap it in so that it doesn't crease. 
and do the other eye as well and that's it it's the next day and as you can see I also decided to put the tape on my smile lines after I videotaped last night so let's see what happens when I take them off um hmm okay I do like the result there my fingers. Apparently you can re-wet these, let them dry, and then reuse them. Kind of annoying to keep them on your counter though, like even if it's on a paper towel or something, you're supposed to stick them on the backing of the tape, but I think I threw it away because they were just little strips. It would be easier if it was a big strip, but like I said, when I had the big strip on, it really accentuated my wrinkles and made them worse. So. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so I like them in that position. And my skin feels, I can't explain it. Like to the touch, it feels tacky, but, but it feels moisturized. It feels moisturized, so I really like what it did here. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. I do not, I do not like them here. I think you could see on this side how even though I placed them on really nicely and flat to my face, um, you can see that there's like a little bubble on this side and that was the same thing that happened on this side and it accentuated this wrinkle right here. I do not like that. I do not like it at all. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> that's a no around the eyes. Um, and I cannot get these off of my fingers. Um, okay, so number two, we'll see the same thing probably happened. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's not good around the eyes. It's not good around the eyes. Uh, now for the forehead. Um, hmm. I can't say I like it there either. It created, it created a bump because the tape took a certain shape and it molded my skin to that shape right here because I think it's a little bit meatier. Um, let's see here where there's not as much skin. Okay, this is okay. And then the top here and that seems to be okay. And that's a little iffy right here on the edge because it's curved. <sighs> so I give this like a 50-50. I would never use it again around my eyes. I will use it again uh, on the laugh lines and the forehead. It's a 50-50. Uh, you just never know what you're going to wake up with and that's, that's not good. So while I was doing this, depending on what my results were going to be. If they were good, it was gonna be end of video, but if they weren't gonna be optimal, then I was going to try these patches. I have forehead patches and under eye patches. It's not the expensive kind. I actually got these um, when I was doing the raw vegan diet years ago. I came across a lady named Tanya Zavasta and she has a website called Beautiful on Raw and she sells different products for the face and she had these forehead patches and eye patches. She sells 10 in a pack for the forehead and then 10 for under the eyes and I can usually get two wears out of each so that's like 20 days a month. and. They are $12 for 10 packs. So if you buy patches for the forehead and patches for the eyes, it is 
total to get 20 uses. Sometimes you can get away with using a patch three nights in a row, but mostly I would find in the morning that they had fallen off and I had to do a little patch scavenger hunt. I haven't used these patches in a long while because I've been using the MyLift Mini and I'm still in the testing period for the MyLift Mini and I didn't want anything to mess up my results for that. Um, but this was just one night with the patches. And I'm thinking though of doing a night with the forehead patch and the eye patch and coming to you tomorrow so you can see the difference. And then you can decide for yourself if the silicone tape is something that you want to deal with that gives you a 50-50 results in the morning. Actually, I really do like how it worked on the smile lines. So um, Tanya Zavasta on her website, she does not have patches for the smile lines. So I think I'm going to, once my MyLift Mini review testing thing is over, um, I might begin doing the tape again and the patches again. So yeah, I'll come back to you later when I'm putting on the wrinkle line forehead and eye patches. All right, so let me tell you about some of the properties of these patches. We'll start with the forehead patch. It's made from a hydrogel containing 80% moisture with extracts of aloe vera, vitamin E, and vitamin B3. It is a gel-like feeling. It's cooling on your skin, which feels nice. It keeps your skin moisturized for up to 24 hours after you take it off. So you can wear one for an hour or you can wear it for you know overnight, which I do and I think is the best way to do it. I pat it down and make sure it's flat on all sides and it's really easy to do with this uh, material with this patch. Next will be the under eye patches and the big ingredient in these is bamboo charcoal and it helps to detoxify the under eye area leaving your eyes bright and re-energized. So we shall see if that's the case. I line them up to cover the crow's feet area and make sure that they get like right in the inner corners where I have all these little crisscross wrinkles that occur and they feel really nice, really nice and cooling under the eyes. It's just a nice treatment and it's not bothersome at all. They stick on for two wears. It's really pushing it to have them work three nights in a row. I saw that e.l.f. has some under eye patches and their charcoal for like eight bucks for three treatments. And this is a great deal because you get 10 packs that last you 20 uses for $12. Okay, I will check in with you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is wrinkle line reveal time. So should we start with the forehead or with the eye patches first? I think I want to start with the eye patches. I'm going to move in just a little closer and maybe I'll zoom in too. I mean, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This reminds me why I love these patches so much. So in all fairness, the shape, you can still, you can see the shape of the wrinkle line a little bit, like how it started up here, went down here, but it got rid of my crow's feet, my static crow's feet wrinkles and you just see kind of like the shape, but like I have little tiny, tiny, tiny wrinkles in here and it got rid of those. So you can imagine that the more you wear these, even sometimes during the day, you can wear them. And you know, as moms and stuff, we make expression lines all day long. Our forehead lines get a lot worse once we become moms. <laughs> for good reason. All right, let's uncover the 
forehead and it also erased my forehead wrinkles. I even feel like there's a brightening effect happening under the eyes right now. That's really nice. Like it feels like I have concealer on when I don't have concealer on. Um, yeah, I really dig that. So that's something to keep in mind. So you can see why I like these. They have great skincare properties. They are easy to put on. They are easy to take off. They don't leave some nasty lines on your face and they're pretty affordable compared to other companies. This wasn't supposed to be a versus video, but it turned into one and my choice is definitely the wrinkle lines. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please give me a like. I post on here twice a week, so I will see you soon. And until then, keep on glowing.